A police cruiser swerving backwards, crossing the double yellow line with a passenger door wide open. Investigators say Raymond Walters Jr. is behind the wheel of the stolen SUV. He backs into a car and goes up on someone's lawn. It doesn't end there. He then backs into another Riverside officer's car. That officer's body camera shows what unfolded afterwards. All right. I'm all right. Take a breath. Walking toward the officer with the body cam rolling, Officer Robert Todd. His SUV was the one stolen. I tried to pull him out, and he was backing in, so I tased him. The shock didn't stop Walters from taking off. He stole our car. Our cruiser's gone. He stole Todd's cruiser. He, he crashed that black truck. Todd pulls up. I guess he tries to attack Todd. Todd tases him. He steals Todd's cruiser, puts it in reverse. I chase him. He goes off the road here. Slams it in reverse and destroys my car. Does anyone know him at all? No. Bystanders couldn't identify him, but after witnessing this, one person made a comment that would turn out to be true. Oh, he's probably killed a couple of people by now. After leaving the scene in Riverside, Walters, who is still in the police SUV, is accused of crashing into multiple other cars in front of the Dayton Public Library. A police car has just struck him immediately outside of our building. They're all beat up. Two children were killed, 10 other people injured. And investigators say Walters was just released from prison this month. He was out on parole, and they also say methamphetamine may have played a role in what happened this week. Reporting live tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.